Hey guys, we are working on a Bally Frontier. I'm just gonna show you the back. Yeah, what I could do to go through the exercise of putting an overlay on, the play field is absolutely roached, which you'll see in a second when I turn it around. Basically, I have it in a jig, which just mimics the uh, cabinet so I can safely move this around, put a couple of uh, grab handles on it so I can handle it a little easier. Okay, let's flip it around. Okay, it's upside down, but who cares? Here's the play field. I'll give you the full Monty before I discuss how bad this actually is. So, right here, you can't really see it, but it's all being painted because it's uh, the paint is actually peeling off. You can see some of the gouges here in the play field. No idea. This is the bust. Somebody touched it up. Looks like with a marker. I don't know what they did with it, but uh, it actually looks pretty good. And there are various holes throughout the play field, like right here. Somebody actually put screws in. So what I've done is I've put in some toothpicks, uh, skewers with glue to get the uh, holes back to where they should be. And the same goes for the outlane guides. They're all... They were just mismatched coat hanger wires, all kinds of things used to um, just put the, uh, to make the holes a little bigger to put a coat hanger wire. So I did the same thing, skewers, put them in there. You can actually see this is actually raised here. Okay, and then this is actually pretty cool. Somebody went through the exercise of painting the they call it the den of predators to make it look somewhat presentable, I guess. But anyways, nonetheless, what we're going to do is we're going to sand this down to nothing. And then I'll show you the process that I use to the process I use to seal the wood. And then we'll put the uh, overlay on, uh, dress up the front, do the back, and uh, should have a nice game. It's going to take a little while, but uh, follow me along with the journey. 